Hey guys, first things first, I'm going to point this out before you do. I am on the road to becoming blonde. It's a bit sort of strawberry blonde slash honey coloured at the moment because I've only had it bleached once um, and that was about a month ago now and I'm getting it bleached again next week sometime and then I have to get it done one more time that is when they will put the desired blonde colour on that I am looking for but it's looking quite light already I was really surprised at how light it did go um, after dyeing my hair like with permanent dyes, this is what doesn't make sense, I've dyed my hair so many times with dark brown permanent hair dye. So after doing that for like years, I never thought that I would be able to get anywhere near blonde again because I actually used to be blonde when I was younger and so far, so good. So yeah, that's that. It was my birthday on Saturday, the 28th of May. It was my 21st, so it was quite a big birthday. I just thought that I'd share with you guys what I got for my birthday because I love watching videos like this, as I said when I did my what I got for Christmas video. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to share some of the things that I got with you guys. I had such an amazing birthday and I was spoilt rotten by my family and Mike and it was just the, the loveliest weekend, one of the loveliest weekends ever. So my first birthday present that I'm just gonna tell you about now, I am going with my family and Mike to Florida in November. We bought Disney tickets recently, so off my mum and dad, I asked for my Disney tickets. Um, so they got me Disney tickets, and I really didn't expect anything else from them, but because it was my 21st, they went above and beyond, as they always do, and they gave me a lot of other treats, so, I have got a lot of bags here. Oh, first of all, I want to tell you that what happened was with Mike, he asked me what I wanted for my birthday and I really didn't know and I said I'd rather just pick things, like go shopping and pick things on the day and that seemed like really exciting to me. My mum knows that I love notebooks and I'm, I'm very much like her, like we both like jotting stuff down and you know as opposed to typing it up on the computer. So if I'm planning medleys or anything, I'm always doing it on paper, I never really do it on the computer. Um, so she got me these really cute, I don't know where they're from. I'm not sure where they're from, but they're just little sort of pads and this one says thoughts at the top. To go with those, because it's sort of the same kind of theme, um, my mum and dad got me this, which again, I always use these big like plastic cups. Um, I'm obsessed with straws. If you know me, you know that I, in any drink, have to have straws, at least two. I will fill this with ice and I can make smoothies in it or just put coke in it or just water and while I'm planning projects or while I'm sat in the garden I can have this and it's it's massive <laughs> so I won't go thirsty. Off my parents I got a Yankee candle that I have been desperate to light but I haven't yet because I wanted to do this video and it's Kilimanjaro Stars. I knew that I loved this one and I did mention it to my mum because my brother has it. It's kind of like a men's aftershave but also kind of smells like a forest, like a bit piney, like a bit pine tree-ish, maybe. I'm not sure if that's a good description, but it's dark blue, it's gorgeous, and I'm obsessed with it. It just smells amazing, so I'm going to be lighting this as soon as I finish this video, because I've been waiting. <laughs> Off my parents, I got some Liz Earl Cleanse and Polish. You can never go wrong with this. I've mentioned this in multiple videos. I think I mentioned it at Christmas as well, because I got some at Christmas. And it's just the best face wash. I, I've always struggled saying that. It's just the best face wash in the world. And this is a limited edition. And it is rose and... I don't know how you say the second word. Is it like cedrat or cedrat? Liz Earl is my like holy grail product. My mum and dad did get me another big present but it's kind of buried under this pile of bags so I'll get back to that later. Joel and Kaylee, who are my brother and my brother's girlfriend know that Rapunzel at the moment is my favourite princess. They got me a Rapunzel mug. They also got me a Rapunzel doll from the Disney store which I love. I think she's so cute. Lastly, Joel and Kaylee got me one of my favourite presents, which I've wanted for so long. They got me an Instax camera, Polaroid camera, and I know these are kind of like old news now, but I am obsessed with it and I've been taking tons of pictures. I'm just in love with this and you press this to switch it on, then you press this button to take the picture and it comes out the top here and within like a minute it's developed your picture. And it's just, it's just such an awesome thing to have. My boyfriend just snapchatted me. My grandparents all gave me money, which I'm trying to save. Um, so everything that I show you now is off mic, unless I say otherwise. So, starting with River Island. This was the first place that we went to. I'm sure it was. 
I spent a lot of my budget in here <laughs> straight away because these dresses were very expensive. Um, so the first one, I'm just going to grab them at random, is one that I haven't worn yet and it's black and sort of netted. There is like an underdress underneath it so that you can't see through it. The underdress finishes sort of at a midi length and then the netting carries on for a little bit. Um, and I just think that's really nice, it's quite sophisticated uh, and I got that in a size 8. The next dress is what I wore last night because I had a meal with my entire family last night. It's this red dress. Now this is gorgeous and it also smells incredible because I sprayed my new fragrance on it. Um, this is sort of, how do you say it? Is it bardo? Is that how you say it? Um, so it's off the shoulder and it's got short sleeves and it comes in at the middle and then the skirt looks like this. Um, so it's bodycon, so it, you know, it's, it's quite tight. And again, I got that in a size 8 and it fits well, <laughs> if you know what I mean. As in, I shouldn't put any more weight on if I want to wear this dress again. <laughs> the last dress that I got from River Island was what I wore on my birthday um, for the meal that me and Mike went for in the evening, which was a really nice Chinese. And I didn't realise that I still had the tag on it, so that's great. This dress is absolutely beautiful. It's just black and let me show you it's got spaghetti straps and it has ooh, it has a lace trim on the front it also has lace trim as the dress goes down in sort of like a kind of like a ruchy pattern um but not the full way down it just has two you know sort of ruchy strips and then it also has a split right up the front that isn't it doesn't go high at all it doesn't like show anything it shouldn't um so it's got a zip at the back and it's just a gorgeous dress it's almost like a nighty kind of material so yeah this is a beautiful dress and this is also in a size 8 so that was river island now i've been wearing this jumper that i bought ever since i got it on my birthday when i've been sort of slouching around um so it might look a bit grubby <laughs> but this is the jumper that i got um an adidas one and I got it in a size 12 because I did pick up the 8 and it was definitely too small for what I like. I think I said this before in a video but I like my jumpers to be a few sizes bigger and really baggy. Um, I looked at the 10 and Mike said you don't like it like that, it still looks too sort of hugging and like it would fit well and I didn't want it to fit well. So I got it in a 12 and it's really big and it's just really nice. I absolutely love this, I fell in love with it as soon as I saw it and Mike really liked it as well so yeah I forget what order I went to these places in but I'm just gonna grab my Topshop bag so in Topshop I got this top <laughs> this was the first thing that I picked up in Topshop and obviously you can see it's got cut out shoulders it's just really slouchy and it's black and white stripes I love that kind of plain thing um, so yeah this is this is the first thing the second thing that I picked up is this dress it's like really light and really cottony and it goes right down to the floor it's got a bit of shape to it and um, you can't really see because obviously I can't get it in a full shot but the back looks like this it'll be perfect in summer if I'm going out for lunch or for a meal um, I don't know the tags on this yet yeah, this was 22 pounds uh, as was this top I remember they were the same price um, so yeah, that's just a really lovely sort of, again, quite bodycon summer dress. I then picked up some underwear. I just picked these up because they were four for £10 and they were Disney, so I had to pick them up. The first ones aren't Disney, but the rest are. So these ones have got dinosaurs on them and they say raw and they're just cute. The second pair is the Little Mermaid, which as you guys know is my favourite. The next ones that I got are all the Disney princesses. They, again, I just love them. If it's Disney, I'm guaranteed to love it. And the last pair that I got are these Lion King ones that I really really like I think they're so cute I think the colours lovely they are the knickers that I picked up and as I said they were four for ten pound which I thought was really good the last thing that I picked up from Topshop that Mike kept mistaking for a necklace and he couldn't believe why I wanted something so big to wear as a necklace I didn't it's a key ring is this like diamond I lose my keys a lot so I do like to have really big key rings and like a lot so they're really bulky um and it's just like light green and it's kind of see-through and it's got glitter in it so I just thought that was really cute and that was five pounds originally and I don't know what it was reduced to but there was some kind of reduction on it 
Um, so if you're all desperate to go get yourselves one of these and get them quick while they are reduced. Hmm. I'm grabbing my Hollister bag next. I only picked up one thing in Hollister because they usually have all the sort of checked shirts and they didn't have any this time. I haven't been to the Trafford Centre for a while, but they used to like always have checked shirts in there and I was hoping to pick one up. But what I did pick up was a fragrance. Now I'm pretty sure that it's a well-known fact that in Hollister they pump their fragrance, one of their fragrances, through like the air condition or whatever it is, um, so that it smells of this fragrance in their store. Now this is a man's cologne. I'm absolutely sure it's a man's cologne. Mike thinks it's unisex, but I am almost certain it's a men's one. And this is Coastline. Um, I really don't care if it's a man's cologne. It's absolutely incredible. It smells so good and it does smell like it could be unisex i just think it definitely smells more manly than womanly or feminine yeah i'm sure it's a man's it's definitely a man's it, it smells sort of really aftershavey as opposed to perfume it just smells so so good the next thing that i got is probably my favorite thing and i picked this myself mike might feel really cringy that i'm saying this on my channel but i'm a very insecure person i feel like because of my panic attacks and maybe an element of it is what i've been through in the past i always feel like people are going to leave and sometimes that's really hard for me and for the other person so i asked mike if he would give me this as almost a promise ring and I got a ring from Pandora. It's loads of hearts that are the right way up and then upside down and it's just absolutely beautiful. It looks so nice on my hand. It fits me perfectly and I just absolutely love it. It didn't take me long to pick this at all. I had seen it on the website and I was torn between two and then this one just because of how dainty it is definitely won me over straight away. So that is definitely one of my favourite presents if not my favourite. Next I picked up a few bits of makeup from Selfridges. So the first place I went to was the MAC counter and I got three things. So I picked up the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer and I got this in NC20. I'd run out of this and it's my favourite concealer and I feel like it's the best concealer that I've ever tried. So I picked this up again in NC20 which is a bit lighter than I used to get. I've tried to sort of lighten my foundation because I never realised but it was always quite dark. I then picked up a lip liner. The shade of this lip liner is quite nude, um, maybe it's got sort of a bit of a pink tone in it and it's called Boldly Bare. So I picked this up and the last thing that I picked up from MAC was a lipstick that I thought would go quite well with this lip pencil. This lipstick is like a perfect colour for what I was looking for. The only thing that I was disappointed with is that it's not matte, it's satin. Um, but this is Faux. It's just an absolutely beautiful nudey, pinky lipstick. I, I just love it. And obviously you can make your lipsticks matte by doing the whole tissue and powder technique, but yeah, I love this lipstick. The next thing that I got that I have wanted to get for such a long time is the Charlotte Tilbury Film Star Bronze and Glow. Now Joel got Kaylee this for her birthday back in February and she let me borrow it on multiple occasions because it's a really expensive highlighter. Um, this was £49, but you also get a contour colour with it. Both of these are very pigmented, the contour is great, I've used it for contouring today, um, and the highlight is absolutely beautiful. I haven't used this highlighter today because you'll see why in a second, but this highlighter is definitely one of the best that I have ever used. It makes you feel like a golden goddess when you've got it on, it's really, you know, gold toned, and it's just such a lovely, like, the packaging is amazing on this. I just love it so much so I picked up one of these. The words boyfriend goals definitely come into my mind here. I've been watching a lot of Instagram tutorials like the short videos on Instagram and the highlighter that loads of people have been using that I've absolutely fallen in love with is it's it's basically the Anastasia Beverly Hills kits. So I saw a kit called Gleam and I thought that that was the only highlighting kit that Anastasia did. Um, so Mike told me that he was literally getting me nothing and we were just going to go shopping and after I'd opened my presents in the morning off my family he pulled this out from behind the couch and said oh by the way I got you a little something so he gave me this. Now this kit is absolutely beautiful. There's four colours. You have sunburst, golden bronze, bubbly and dripping in gold. This kit is called That Glow and to be perfectly honest I couldn't remember what kit I'd seen and mentioned to Mike. Um, I had literally no idea that he would get this for me. 
he is such an angel for even thinking and remembering that I'd mentioned this. So I fell in love with this kit as soon as he gave it to me. And then he said to me, but that wasn't the one that you wanted, was it? I couldn't get the one that you actually wanted. And I said, I loved this. I, d I didn't even remember what the one that I wanted, what it was called, what the difference in the colours were. And he said, oh, that's a shame because I got you that one as well. Um, so I have the two highlighting kits and they are both absolutely beautiful. This kit is the Gleam kit and in this one you have Hard Candy, Mimosa, Starburst and Crushed Pearl. I am absolutely in love with both of these and I haven't actually used the Gleam kit yet. I have only used two colours from the That Glow kit and I've used Sunburst and Dripping in Gold. I'm wearing Dripping in Gold right now from the That Glow kit and I've basically got a ton of highlighters to play with and they are all very different but equally beautiful. From this kit you've got more sort of um, skin and pinky toned highlighters and in this one it's more yellowy, goldy, bronzed highlighters. Next we went to Victoria's Secret. In Victoria's Secret I obviously picked up some underwear and I say obviously because that's what they're sort of known for. I also picked up this, what I think is kind of a night shirt because it says all night long on it. Um, I don't know whether it's, I don't think it's pyjamas, but I will be wearing it as pyjamas and it's a dress, but it's kind of long and it's got a cool sort of racer back and I don't think it's pyjamas though. I really don't know. I think it's just like a beach dress, which you could obviously wear it for as well. Um, I will be taking this to Florida and wearing this in the day as well as at night. Um, so that was £28 and I got that in a medium because normally I would get it in small but I like to have things like this as well a little bit baggier. The last thing that I got from Victoria's Secret and it's also my last thing off mic is this spray that is delicious. Victoria's Secret have a lot of fragrances like this and I smelt quite a few of them and this one just smelt like summer and it's called Amber Romance and it's a fragrance mist. It just smells really nice and it holds its scent for a long time so I obviously loved this. The last thing that I got for my birthday off my mum and dad were these Converse. I didn't ask for Converse, but I have been borrowing Kaylee's, sort of stealing them, nicking them when she's not around, you know, that kind of situation. So they got me some of my own and they are these really cool black ones. They're leather and the thing that I like about these is usually Converse have the white um, sort of toe cap bit. I like these because they're black, so they're not really like typical Converse-y, you know, shoes. I haven't worn these yet because I wanted to save them for the video and not let them get dirty at all, but hopefully they fit. I haven't even tried them on, <laughs> I've just realised. But I'm excited to wear these because I've been wearing these shoes from Boohoo for months and they're sort of getting really wrecked now. Um, so I just like little slip-on shoes like these and I'll let you know if they fit me. That guys is everything that I got for my birthday. I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did please give it a big thumbs up and leave some suggestions down below of other talky sort of vloggy videos that you'd like me to do. Thank you so much if you've donated on my campaign already and if you haven't the link will be below. I've got some very exciting changes happening very soon that I will soon be able to tell you about. Just hold out for a couple of weeks and I will be able to announce these really super exciting things to you guys and give you a bit of insight as to where I am, what projects I'm working on, etc. Thank you so much for watching. I love you and I'll see you in my next video.